it's graffiti there, I don't really care. Um, oh, um, um, <laughs> oh, shit. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Tales from the Borderlands. In the last part, we made the deal with August playing as Reese, and we got the key, and then all of a sudden, um, it was like a flashback, flash forward. We went back to where we were getting dragged on the ground by some mercenary looking guy, and we also met a new character called Fiona, and she is also the other character that we get to play as throughout this series. And we're playing as her now for the first time, it's gonna introduce her right now. So let's jump into this, let's go! I was born here, on Pandora, in a city cast in shadow known as Hollow Point. It's in a cave. Anyway, for a long time it was just me and my sister. Just a couple of kids stealing what we could to survive. Until we met Felix. We tried to nab his wallet. Not only did he stop us, he showed us how to do it better. We've been working together ever since. This is taking too long. She's waiting. This latest scam was our biggest yet. The one that would set us up for life. That sounds familiar. What can I say? A lot of these stories start out the same way. Fiona, relax. There's nothing to be nervous about. Felix raised you into a life of crime. There. That looks good. If August's offense worth his cut, you'll be selling it to some Hyperion stooge. It should be good enough to fool one of them. Not too many people have seen a Vault King, real or otherwise. The paint may still be wet. Be sure not to let anyone touch it. There are only a couple spots to worry about, but it's best not to risk it, so have them keep their hands to themselves. Do you think this will work? If I didn't, we wouldn't be doing it. Hey, so that, hmm. you're a pro. This is what you do. Your sister may have brought in the mark, but you're the one that'll close the deal by playing whatever role you need to, to get the job done. If she introduces you as a tiny psycho, you'll squat down and scream about poop trains. Okay? <laughs> poop that traits. first introduction is who you are. Where's you two much? have to work together. Have the shiniest meat bicycle. Well, I have the shiniest meat bicycle. Yep. Exactly. Getting into character. Showtime. Mm. Fiona, when she gives you your role, you play it as best you can. The deal came together much faster than I'm comfortable with, but it's worth the risk. So it's best to take precautions against the unforeseen. The purple skag is not the type of place you walk into without a backup plan. So you want me to shoot my way out? Might need a bigger gun. It's only for emergencies. One bullet. That's right. You'll always be able to talk your way out of more situations than you can shoot your way out of. Wet paint. No touch. Emergency only. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Meet your sister, the purple skag. Okay, so this um, is the the box that was tra traded between August and Reese, and she's like obviously. I mean, it's, it's fake. It's not a real vault key. Wonder how she got it to August. Maybe he's just a contact who takes things from people that offer. So we're making our way to the purple skag. And who's this guy? Yeah, you get it all out. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, okay. Here's a loot crate. They're always good normally in Borderlands. Tear down poster. Why are we wanted? Is it because we're just a thug? A criminal. Didn't get to read that. Something about repaying, re return upon delivery. Open loot crate. What was that? It's like a bat or something. It's graffiti there, I don't really care. Um, oh, um, um, <laughs> oh, shit! Is that normal? Is that a normal thing to happen in this world? Alright, alright, enough of this stabbing. Wow. Piss off. 
Who's this guy? Oh, the, <laughs> the money shines with the lights above it, like in the RPGs. Dying man's money. <laughs> if he's dying... Oh god, I'm taking it, fuck it. I'm a fog, aren't I? I'm a criminal, I've gotta play the character. Money! Girls gotta eat. So how much does my cash go up by? Oh, that was like... $100, nice. So Q for this girl is her bank account. Normally the other guy, it's his aim, um, is detective goggles, whatever they're called. So let's move forward, here's the purple skag. So she set this deal up, his, his sister has, and she's the um, We're gonna finish it or something, I guess. Look at Crash Fan. I think anything weird that happens in this game is like not to to look at, it's just normal. Tector. Let's just talk to him. Sorry, no one's getting in here today, pretty lady. VIPs only. <laughs> Great at violence. Private function. There's the Firestone Tavern down the road. If you really need a drink, they'll take care of you. Um, I'm a VIP. Let's, let's try and not spend the money first. Well, that's good, because I'm a VIP. What? Really? <laughs> yep. So if you could just get the door oh, for me. Wait one second. I don't know, miss. No offense, but you look pretty regular to me. VIPs are fancy folk. I'd say she looks well, pretty I fancy. should have a list somewhere. <laughs> a second. That's you there. Your face is on that paper with that writing on it. What's that about, huh? Oh shit. What's them words say? And don't you lie and go taking advantage of me. Just cause I ain't the strongest of readers. That's the VIP list, and I'm on it. They probably put a picture to make it easier on you. Well, that's a short list. Oh I'm shit. that important. Uh, I don't know. He is really uh, stupid. Away, yes. She's the VIP that's her sister. Okay, so we know who she is now. Why didn't you tell me she was with you? So sorry, ma'am. <laughs> can't believe that worked. I can't either. So I saved myself a bullet right there. Oh, grab that. Did I click it? I did. Cool. Yeah, we could have wasted the pistol bullet right away there. <laughs> Good job we didn't. Alright, so we're here to just see our sister, right? And that's her. Is that, is that the sister? Did it say she was the sister, or is she just the owner? Look at drinking guy, no interest really. Look at drinking guy. Is this place just full of drinking guys? August is with someone else, so we got a second. He has some trust issues. He keeps asking about you, so I'm just gonna tell you everything I told him. It's a lot. Great. So, here's the setup. You're Lydia Strauss. We're old friends. You're an archaeologist that stole the vault key from a dig site on Eden 6. But you're originally from Eden 5. You contacted me and we met at Pyropedes just after Mercenaries Day to talk about the deal. Then I set you up with August. You provide the key. August and I go make the deal. Then we split the money three ways. The rest of it, you're just going to have to improvise. Did you get all that? I told yeah. you. It's a lot, I know. I'm going to be honest and say no. Asking questions. Uh, no. You need to slow down, Sasha. You're talking a mile a minute. Ugh, you're killing me, Fiona. Okay, you are. <laughs> Tommy, come on. How far do we go back? I've known your family a real long time, August. <laughs> That's right. Which is why this is all gonna work out. You say hi to the missus for me, okay? Will do, August. <laughs> Buddy. Doctor! Yeah, boss? Make sure Tommy gets home. Thanks again. What is Tech Day? He's a freak, isn't he? Okay, shoot him. <laughs> okay. August? Hey, August. This is. Oh, hey. Sasha tells me you've got something really cool to show. <laughs> oh shit, two shots? What? It's Lydia, right? Strauss, Sasha's told me a lot about you. She ensures me 
you can be trusted. Which is the only reason the I'm willing thing. to do a deal with someone I don't know. No! No! Do not shoot me, please. <laughs> God. Please, please, Hawkins. Please, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay. He's going to say something like, yeah, you you'll are. pay. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> oh, nice. The little bastard had a Molly Wong shield on. Shocked me real good. <laughs> Sorry about the mess, boss. Won't happen again. Well, that was exciting. And bring us over a couple drinks, then start mopping up that blood. I don't want to have to get the floors redone. Sure thing, babe. Let's get to business. So he's making a real time. mess. Yeah, something like that. Oh, this is the guy who raised us. Why is he coming in? Your business deals always go like that? He said he'd do something, then he didn't. I don't abide dishonest people. Okay, stick to my word then. I Have should remember seat. that. Have a seat, yes please. So this guy doesn't know this is a fake. So, how long have you been an archaeologist? Fascinating work. Getting out there in the dirt, uncovering priceless artifacts. Long enough to find a vault key. <laughs> oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he did. <laughs> well, that seems like the perfect amount of time. Yeah. That's interesting. What is? Hey, where'd you say you found this again? Refresh my memory. Sasha mentioned it was one of the Eden. Shit. Which one was it exactly? Six. I found it on Eden Six at a dig site Shit. there. Shit. Right. Eden Six. Marcus is always talking about that place. Says it's really nice. It's nice when you find a vault key there. She was talking really <laughs> fast. <laughs> and she told me. Was that Thanks. right? It sounds like it was right. Alright. Let's have a look. Of cool. Course. Seems like it was right. Whoa. It's pretty. That's some glowing paint, isn't it? Grab his hand from dirt. It's wet still. You're grabbing my hand. It was still. Why did we. Why are you doing that? It's uh, radioactive. What are you talking about? She's helping you out, August. How do you figure? You never heard of iridium poisoning? Haha. <laughs> can't say I have. Well, she's saving you from a couple of hours of puking your guts out. Sweet. <sighs> Well, then, thanks for that. But just say something sooner next time. I'll call up Vasquez. He's been chomping at the bit for this thing. Yeah. Uh, Vasquez, it's August. Are you buying this vault key or what? Because I... Hey, wait, do you have me on speaker? Seriously? No, look, I don't even know what obstinate means, man. But I know is i got to move this thing right now. I know what obstinate means. These Hyperion guys get uncomfortable around people that sound too competent. I think this is the conversation Vasquez was having when we were Reese in the office. No, man, this thing is hot. I, I got an office, so if you want it, you gotta get down here. No, we'll, we'll be there soon. That ain't good enough, buddy boy. I ain't that guy. I'm trying to do you a solid here. I'll play it cool. Actually, stay walk. quiet. Stay quiet. Look, let me make it crystal clear. I want ten million dollars. That's right. We'll be waiting for you. Yeah? You say hi to your... He hung up. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. All right. Sasha will hold the key, since it's clear you don't trust me alone with it. And seeing as I just had a guy killed in front of you, I'm not even offended. <laughs> Bring your gun, babe. Got it. So that's it? She'll let you know when it's done, where to get your money. Let's go. I wonder how long you can save the bullet for in your gun. If you can go through the episodes and still have it. That'd be cool if you can. We'll follow in the caravan. 
Why do we need to be there? His sister's there doing the deal. Are we just there for backup in case shit goes wrong, I guess? We're in position. Let us know when they arrive. I have to say, I was surprised when your friend grabbed my hand like that. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's a little possessive. That's funny, considering she stole it in the first place. What was I supposed to do? I don't know, but grabbing the hand of a murderous psychopath would not have topped my list. Huh, now you tell me. It's fine. At least you kept him from touching it. <laughs> Still is, actually, because he's definitely not dead. Here we go. All right. The place itself. We're on. What happened? You get stuck in traffic? Oh, well, excuse me. I, I don't know if you heard the explosions outside, but, you know, we had to mow down about a couple hundred bandits just so we could ring the goddamn doorbell. Just in time for the spring collection. <laughs> yeah, well, that's Pandora for you. If it ain't a freaking bug stampede, some jerk off is using you for rocket practice. All right, well, I don't know where the subtitles went. <laughs> I'll just leave you to your business things then. I'm August, but I figure you know that already. Is uh, is Vasquez coming? There are two guys here, but neither of them are Vasquez. He may have sent some lackeys. Didn't want to get his hands dirty. One of them has an echo eye implant. If he scans the key, he'll know it's a fake. Should I have done that? Maybe I should have done that when I was playing with him. Talking, but there's no way they're not going to scan it. Unless they're um, morons. We need, Felix, to we need to disable it. That's yes. what happened. Okay, yes. Good thinking. There's a small EMP device in the chest over there. Grab it for me while I assemble a detonator. Hey. Uh. What? Um, that looks like something. Is this it? Yes, that's the one. Nice. How oh, cool! Yes. Yeah, that was this sick. This will generate a low-level electromagnetic pulse. That should be enough to scramble his system. But you need it close to the key. Sasha, on my signal, you need to get the case over to the vent behind you. How the hell do I do that? I don't know. Figure it out. There's a ventilation shaft in the back that'll give you access. Once you're in, I'll talk you through. Stay in the shadows. The walls are paper thin. Don't be seen. Don't be heard. Go! Hurry! Okay, so we're going to plant this on the box so when the, the guy takes it, his eye won't work when he looks at it. Sounds like a good plan. I can see him. We don't have long. How do I get inside? There should be an air duct that leads to the room they're in. Find it. That's where you'll take your position. Right. On it. Alright. We're running close to 20 minutes right here, so I'm going to end the video here, guys. And we will continue by putting the disabling device on the box in the next part. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.